Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. Good morning, good morning. It's J.D. Naja. Word of truth with J.D. Naja. I'm back. Woo! <laughs> right there. I'm back, I'm back. They struck my channel. I told a joke. It didn't go over that well, I guess. It took them a long time to figure it out. The algorithm must the algorithm must be getting better at detecting um humor. Because this video is man, months old that I did and um you might remember it. It was it was kind of in bad taste. Um it was the one about the zebras. I don't know how many, I don't have that many listeners, so either you heard it or you didn't. They they pulled it down, I think. But um, I'm not going to say it again because I don't want to get, get another week off. So before I get started, all praises to our Heavenly Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the unspeakable existent I am. The Adonai, the El Shaddai. He's the master. He comes in the power brought to us by our big brother, Jesus Christ, who is Solomon in the regeneration. Um, Josiah, Jephaniah, comes in the volume of the book. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He is the Word. Of truth, He is the word that gives us this power, wisdom, and ability to understand this, these scriptures in these last days, which is the Holy Spirit. So, um, uh, the Kyrie West, or Kyrie Irvin, Kanye West, uh, thing is interesting because... Um, I don't know. There's a few interesting aspects of it. It makes you wonder how much of it might be a psyop. Um, <clears throat> you know, things like this wouldn't be able to take off in such a way if people actually knew the Bible. You know, it, it's... <clears throat> I guess... um. I guess this whole thing about wanting to be Israel, everybody wants to be Israel or something. I don't know. Um, it's not exactly the place you want to be, but um, most Israel should know that by now. If you're Israel, you're you're going to have people coming against you. You're going to have. It's not. The Bible says in the last days, um, everyone's going to come against Israel. So, um, being that I have no listeners. Um, I, I can't, I have no, I have no demographic because, um, on one hand I'm Israel and the only people that are claiming Israel right now that are hot and heavy are these, are these, um, camps, these black Hebrew Israelites. So they're the ones that are all wound up about being Israel and being Judah and, and the tribes and all that. Um, I, I, I don't jive with them cause I don't jive with these, this camp, um, small hat or small bus. They call them the small hats. I'm going to call GMS and these guys, small bus, the small bus mentality, this religion, this flunky third grade dropout, um, made up theology that these guys are pushing out. It's, um, it's low hanging fruit. It's easy to. It's easy to debunk because the Bible, the Bible says what the Bible says, and these guys massage it to to say all kinds of nonsense. And you know, I I thought that they were my people. I was like, and so when I when I say these things, and I, of course I don't I don't jive with the the small hats either because um, I don't believe in their their theology either. Being a, a Christian Israelite is probably the strangest place for anyone to be. 
But in the end of the day, that's the best place to be because that's the way the Bible explains it. Israel first, um, Christian Gentiles next, and the heathens last. It's it's not it's not rocket science. It's a simple. It's a simple reading of the Bible. You go from the beginning, and it talks all about Israel. Um, you get in the middle, and you start talking about um, Solomon, the kings, and the wisdom books, and the Psalms, and you're talking about the mercies of David. And these are this is the truth. These, I'm not I'm not pushing anything that's not right there in the Bible for you to find. And so, back to this um, subscriber base that I have. There, there's no one really that understands um, the Bible in a way that's coherent. Everybody wants to massage it to make it fit their belief system. And what I've done is I've followed the Bible, and that is my belief system. So um, for you for you Negro listeners out there, you, you ex-camp, GMS, Sakari, IUIC people that are that are here. Thanks for being here. This is the right place to be. I, I have nothing against um, my brothers and sisters. In fact, part of the reason I push so hard is because I don't want to see my true brothers and sisters getting sucked into this wicked, flunky, small bus religion that these guys are pushing. And um, now, now we're really seeing um, a push for this flunky theology with um with these big names coming out and splashing this black hebrew israelism and this um negro centric um doctrine of the bible on everyone like like they're the they're the kings of the earth and they might be but if if you don't have the right doctrine it doesn't matter so and for you christians out there that that are going oh he he subscribes to Israelism. He's he subscribes to the Kanye West. Da 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 da. No, I don't. I I subscribe to the Bible, and I and I will um, give credit where credit is due. Um, some of the things that uh, GMS brought to the table were confirmations for me about some of the things the Lord told me. So. Um, I thank them for that, and that's where they suck, suckered me in. Um, the regeneration thing—that's a—that's sound doctrine to the through and through. There's no doubt about that. Um, what else did they did they teach me that the basically in the last days we'd be waking up, and the Lord would be um, telling us who we were, and we'd be having this um, download of information from the Most High giving us this. Um, ability, this Holy Spirit, this indwelling of the Lord Jesus Christ or Solomon himself, the wisdom of Solomon will be downloaded into us. And now we, we see the truth, but the problem is, is everyone's saying they have it. And that's what the Bible says in the last days, there'll be false prophets and people saying they know the Lord and, and follow me. And, and it says if he says I'm over here or over there, don't go there. You can't just go there. Um, cause then next thing you know, you're, you're in that group, you're in that camp, you're in that tabernacle with these, um, flunky, um, false religion people. So you churches. And then, and then of course we have the churches that are going, he doesn't sound like my pastor. He doesn't sound like Pastor John. He doesn't sound like Pastor Pastor Steve. Well, no, I don't because I'm not really a pastor. I'm a I'm a Israelite prophet. I'm a teacher. So that being said, um, there was something interesting. If you if you <laughs> if you ever see that I go missing, you can find me on Benjamin 144. It's pretty easy to find. I think it's I think it's capital B. Um, small cap Benjamin, and then a dash, and then 144. That's. I probably should come up with an easier name, the Word of Truth with JD Nija. I should probably drop the JD Nija part and just put Word of Truth. I could probably catch some Christians with that one, because um, at least they they want the truth, whereas um, 
a lot of you brothers and sisters out there, you will take the lie because it fits your Negro centric um, heartbreak that you've had over the years of being bumped around by these by these white devils and by these other by these other um, nations that they they don't only treat you like shit they they treat me like shit too that's that's the funny thing is um even though i look like a white guy i've been treated like a negro my whole life or or a or a um a latino so don't don't think that just because i look white that these people don't see me they know exactly who i am and if you look at me you will see who i am too because um that that weird feeling that you have towards me that's because i'm israel you're like i don't ah, some of you will like it some of you understand it and some of you don't so i'm not gonna go too much more into that but basically what i'm saying is um i don't have a group of people on any demographic that's gonna that's gonna um pull me out of the fire um let me see oh right here so um at the end of daniel you know we have daniel and daniel was one of the last of the major prophets in the book um we go through um jeremiah isaiah ezekiel and then we come to Daniel. He's he's the last of the major prophets, they call him. But um, I just wanted to point out some things. Um, I hate to just keep bagging on GMS because they're such low-hanging fruit and they're so easy to beat up on because their doctrine is so far from the truth that um, it's it's... I don't know. I don't want to get all wound up on this one, but anyway, we're in Daniel 11. And this is where I talk about if you were over on Benjamin, I did some good I did some good messages while I was um on Benjamin 144. You might want to go over there. I think out of out of 10 messages, there were six of them that were pretty pretty darn hard hitting, but one of them was talking about the sovereignty of God. And so when we think of the sovereignty of God, we realize that he can even make a guy like me um, um, one of his. He, he has been able to pull me from the fire and, and stand me up, and there's no one that will believe it. The small hats won't believe it. The churches won't believe it. And the black Hebrew Israelite new newly awoken brothers and sisters won't believe it so i'm i'm in a really strange position but i'm in that position that would wake a person up and say that's the sovereignty of our lord that's that's where he's going to do his work with these people like jd nyjah that that really have no friends i have no i have a few friends out there um thank you my people for for listening because i know even though there's a few of you, there's that's all that's all we need to keep pushing this um, vibration of the truth out there. The spirit, the spirit is that spirit of truth. Um, that leads me to something else before I get started. Um, I heard someone talking about how to get um, more subscribers. It was the guy from A Time for Judgment. Um, used to do a, a channel called A Time um, for I don't know. Uh, what was it called? I just know the one now is a time for judgment. He had another one. He What he was explaining is that he changes the names and he monetizes them. He gets enough subscribers and he monetizes. That's how you get all these thousands of subscribers. So um, I have a lot of listening, people listening hours. There's a lot of listening hours because I do a lot of long videos. So my listener hours are, are about halfway. I need I need about 500 more listening hours, but I need 1,000 subscribers. So I don't know. I don't think there's any way that I could ever get 
1,000 subscribers the way they have me shadow banned. But um, if you're here listening and you just wandered on this channel, do everyone a favor and just subscribe. Um, I'll I, I'll probably get a thousand listener hours before I get a thousand um, subscribers. But thanks for you people that listen and listen all the way to the end because um, there's a lot of good stuff here and this is where the truth is. And if you really aren't afraid to stand alone um, for God, then you will understand where I'm coming from. So this... In this lesson, I'm going to go into um, the fact that the Gentiles, the Gentile believers are precious to our Lord Jesus Christ. That's part of why he came. As Solomon, he took all these heathen wives and all these wives of the other nations and had children. The king had children with all these other tri these other nations. So when you think of that, there's these people running around with the seed of Solomon, but with heathen. That's probably where I came from to a certain extent is that love that Solomon had for these women of these other nations. And that's where that love is shining through with me. It's like, no GMS, no Sakari, no anyone who says that the Gentiles can't make it is some kind of evil, wicked Pharisee. But anyway, in Daniel, there's another example of how wrong these people are when they say the Gentiles can't make it. And this is Daniel 11, 36. I'll read from the um, beginning of the king shall magnify himself. And this is talking about the sovereignty of our Lord. He can do whatever he wants. He'll magnify himself by bringing in the Gentiles, not by shoving them out. And that's where these, that's what really pisses me off is, um, GMS has all these listeners, but their doctrine is so hateful. It's, it's, I, I can't understand it. So here we are in Daniel eleven thirty six, 36. And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every God and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished. For that that is determined shall be done. The indignation is these black Hebrew Israelites and other people who are pissed off that the Gentiles are going to be standing side by side with them, glorying in the Lord. But little do they know, they won't even be standing side by side with the Gentiles if they keep up their wicked nonsense. So come out of her, my children. Um, Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces, the God of power and a God whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant, pleasant things. So these, these black Hebrew Israelites, the God they don't know is the one they call Yahawashai. He's Solomon. He's the one that had sex with all these heathen nations and brought in all these heathen nations under the, the power of his seed. So they, they, they only know the Tanakh and that's the, the same thing that's going on with these small hats. They only know the Tanakh. They don't know Jesus. They're going to have to stand and they're going to be shamefaced in the end. But until that day comes, we have to keep telling them, you guys are not on the right page. Turn the page, get into the New Testament, know your Lord, Jesus Christ, Solomon, Adam, Josiah. He comes in the volume of the book. It's not just the Tanakh. You brain dead people. You, it's it's silly. It says so right here in Daniel. It's saying it right to their very faces. But will they pull it up? No, because they're too busy defending their Negro centric or their um, Ashkenazi centric um, small hat or small bus religion. Verse thirty nine. Thus shall he do in the most stronghold with a strange god whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory. And he shall cause them to rule over many and shall divide the land for gain. Why is he dividing? Why is he dividing Israel, the church, the Gentiles and the heathen? Why is he dividing them up so that there will be land for everyone? It's a gain. It's a win-win situation. We're not, it's not a zero sum game. 
just because you're Israel um, doesn't mean you get everything and everyone else gets nothing. That's that's the that's the mindset of a worldly person. That's the mindset of a demon. That's a wicked devil. That's a a, a child of Belial. They want to be rebellious. They want they don't want anyone to have. That's a spoiled little child. And these guys are like spoiled little children. So let me continue. It's for gain. He he will divide the land for gain. I've been saying this for months now. It's we're divided because it will increase his glory. The Gentiles are the glory unto Israel. And the heathens are glory unto the Gentile believers. People don't want to hear it because they think they want to be special. You are special. You're special when you believe that your Lord is sovereign. Verse 40, And at the time in the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships, and he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. That's the chariots. That's the UFOs or the UFIs or UPIs, whatever, the unidentified flying purple people leaders. These are the these are the angels. They're going to come in and they're going to have to straighten everyone out and zap zap the ones that are, are causing trouble and bring those up that are, have the power so that they can also join in the heavenly host to um, put down these, these wicked um, false doctrines and these people that are spreading these false doctrines. They need to be taken out of the picture. Period. Verse 41. Here's the meat. He shall enter also into the glorious land in many countries shall be overthrown, but these shall escape out of his hand. Even Edom and Moab and the chief of the children of Ammon. So this is where I'm saying a lot of these a lot of these Gentile heathen nations are going to escape because they either were innocent, they didn't know any better, and the Lord's going to let them learn on their own because the the prophets are going to be here, the people of the Lord are going to be setting things stri straight. When I come back, I'm going to have a a heavy rod in my hand and no one's going to be able to gainsay me anymore and I'm going to be able to round up these heathen and they're going to have to listen listen they're going to have to understand this is how it's going to be niggas and that's how that's what it's going to be and so when we see this he shall enter into the glorious land and many countries shall be overthrown that's us coming in and overthrowing these heathens and in these other Gentile nations that are running around being foolish, even Edom and Moab and the chief of the children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. So who's, who's these Egyptians? These are the ones that are, are calling themselves Hebrew Israelites right now. These are these wicked Egyptian pharaoh type Pharisees. Egypt, these Egyptians, they're 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 settling in on worldly carnal things, saying Jesus was born of Joseph, that the Gentiles can't make it. This is Egypt. These GMS, Sakari, and these guys claim to be Israel, but they're actually pre-Israelite Egyptian gods. They're the gods of the dark. They're the gods of, of Pharaoh Necho and, and these, these slave masters. These are the ones that had the power to round up these Israelites and put them in bondage. Egypt is not going to escape. These, these, crazy, these crazy Negro-centric, small bus, illiterate devils are not going to make it. That's exactly what Daniel's saying right here. He shall stretch forth his hand. Also upon the countries and the land of Egypt shall not escape. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver and all over all the precious things of Egypt. And the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. It, the Bible says it over and over. These guys, they can't escape the word. 
they cannot escape the word. And that's what I've been trying to push out. I'm not for the white people. I'm not for the Chinese. I'm not for the Japanese. I'm not for the Negroes. I'm not for, I'm for the word of truth. I'm for the Bible. This is your brother, J.D. Nijah, Word of Truth, coming to you with another message of truth in the Spirit, breaking down this Bible. If you if you really want to know what's going on out here, I, I just read the Bible, and, and the Lord directs me to these places to, to give you the correct information. It's not supposition. We're not supposing these things. The Word of Truth will tell you what's up. It, Subscribe so that we can get this message out so everyone can be stand before the Lord, Lord with their face and their shoulders held high and their and their love for him shining off so that he can can bring you into the kingdom and say good and faithful servant. JD Nigel, Word of Truth. I'll be back with another message. Glad to be back, believers in Israel. Peace and grace.